Hey guys, it's me back again with another video on this channel. And this is um, Young G Won's speaker, or formerly of speaker, that I will check out today with her new song, which I don't know how it's called because it's in Korean. Um, I guess I could like translate it, but I don't think it's very accurate, so I never really do that. But yeah, this is the title, uh, two words I think. And this came out today. Um, it's like very, very, very underrated and not known at all and I only have heard of this like randomly so I would have normally not checked this out because I would have not heard of this but yeah this is um, a member formerly of Speaker uh, she was like five years in Speaker until the dis disbandment in 2017 and she was also actually supposed to debut with Tiara before that in 2009 uh, I think she also already like filmed the music video for the debut actually with them but then she left before and I think they like had to redo it because of that. So she, she was also like um, part of like a um, girl group that was supposed to happen. Let me look back at it again. Uh, five girls, which was supposed to contain uh, her, Gina, which is like now a female soloist, uh, Yubin of Wonder Girls, UEE of After School, and Hearsong of Secret. So also all girls that are kind of successful in their own respective right you know but they all debuted kind of um and yeah she definitely went around <laughs> a lot of stuff uh, she's 32 years old now and i have never heard of her i have never heard any secret uh wait speaker i'm sorry secret i'm still caught up of the secret member um, i have never heard any of the speaker songs yet i was actually um requested to do some and they're also on my list and I will get to them at some point, but they're quite low because not many people requested it, you know. So um, my, my system is always, I do that what is more popular first, um, just because I think it's more, it makes more sense, you know. I um, kind of have to have a system for requests unless if I don't have that, doesn't make sense to base reactions off of requests, you know. So that's kind of my system. Anyways, um, this is Young G1's speak, uh, from speaker. A new song that came out today. It doesn't have a music video. It's just a, a picture of the, I guess, single. I don't know. But yeah, let's check this out. Uh, right before I get into this, quick shout out to my patrons. Thank you so, so much for pledging your support on my Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm so, so grateful for you guys. I, I really am. And yeah, thank you a lot. That's about it. And if you guys want to support me as well, click the link down in the description below. There's a link to my Patreon. And yeah, you can support me if you want to. There's a lot of exclusive content there on there. And yeah, it's obviously optional, but I would really appreciate it. So let's get into Young Ji-Won's new song. Here we go. I don't know what to expect at all, since I've never heard her voice or never heard any speaker song. So I really don't know. But I have heard that she's a really good vocalist. So yeah, I'm here to get surprised. Okay, I already like her voice tone a lot. It's like that type of voice. Like, uh, you have acoustic guitar right now in the background already. Feels like a slight pop ballad, you know? Almost like a mix between classic and pop ballad. F already feels like that. And uh, her voice tone is like perfect for that. And I really, really like that voice type. Oh, this is actually not an acoustic guitar, right? It's an e-guitar. I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm, I'm very conflicted right now. Ooh, I'm not sure if it's an acoustic or an e-guitar, actually. I thought it was an e-guitar because you could hear the, the string sound, you know? And that's usually something you don't really hear in acoustic guitars. But it could also just be a special acoustic guitar, you know, or the person playing it just being overly effective of the string um, pulling. Maybe, I don't know. Ooh, it's hard to tell, but it's one of the two and it sounds really good. Oh, there's this slight use of vibrator there. Interesting. Again. Whew. 
Okay. Um, so far, very relaxing song, um, not much going on to be honest, it's very slow, it's very like calm as well, you know, the, the instrumental is basically just the guitar and some synthesizers, it's not much more, um, her voice is also quite far back, so it, everything sounds like very, I guess, relaxing on purpose, you know, like they, they don't want this to sound like powerful or anything like that, it sounds like very laid back. Um, and this song is very long as well. I don't know if the song actually is four minutes long as the video suggests or if it's like an outro or something, I don't know. But a four minute song is quite long so um, obviously the song itself is either really slow paced um, or both slow paced and just has very different layers to it. So um, I expect the song to change up and have like something completely new um, soon probably. I like her voice though, honestly. Mm. I like when when an artist sings a line and then she starts like kind of like canon, you know. She kind of starts singing the next line already while her last line is still playing out, you know. So it's over overlining a bit. Um, kind of making the previous line sound like a background vocal at that point, which is really cool. Kind of adds more tempo to the song, although the song's quite slow paced. Kind of, you know, re sparks the tempo a little bit. I like the guitar so much. Whew. Okay, that was a really good high note. So this is right now it's the chorus, I believe. I'm honestly a little bit disappointed in how they structure the song or what they do with the song, you know? Like the song has such a good bass line from the start where you can build up up on build up up on <laughs> you can build on that bass line, that's what I mean. And it's very easy to do actually and you just have to change up the song a little bit, put an interlude, a bridge somewhere or just change the, the pace of the song slightly throughout the song, you know? Because how it is right now, there's no real song progression. There's like bits and pieces where they try or like they give you like a hint of, oh, maybe something changes, but then they just go back to the usual. And um, it feels very repetitive, honestly. For a four minute song, it's also not good. Because it's basically a drag to listen to the whole song. So. If you feel like that whenever you listen to a song, you know, you just know that you will not listen to the song probably ever again because you have to listen to it all, you know, you can't just listen to the half of it and then skip it. Doesn't make sense, you know. So, I mean, you could, but I don't know. Nobody would listen to a song like that in the first place. Um, yeah, and this is kind of like that, you know. It's kind of disappointing because I feel like this could have been way better.
don't be, don't get me wrong, you know, like her vocal our vocal cords are amazing. Like she's like doing what she's supposed to do, but I guess whoever produced this beat and I guess whoever arranged it with her is not doing a good job. The beat itself is probably fine, but like the bass line again, not really how it changes because it doesn't really <laughs> um yeah, the arrangement is weird. That's probably the main point that's weird. And yeah, it's not her fault at all. It's just sad for her because I feel like she could do much better with a better song, you know? It's quite disappointing, to be honest. Because I like her voice quite a bit. Yeah, so the beat is not really the problem, I think. It's probably more so the middle part of the song, you know, where um, I just see, by the way, that the same person composed, arranged. Like, basically, the same person made everything here. So let's Google this person, actually. Uh, we can't find anything other than Instagram. So it's hard to find. Um, can we, like, find this person on like a speaker song or something let's see because maybe we can you know oh it's not Korean okay never mind um yeah would need to to search a little bit more to find that but it's the same person who produced this basically did the whole thing like he did composing lyrics arrangement guitar um, the only thing he didn't do was mix and mastering and obviously the recording which so mix and mastering is the only thing he basically didn't do, but mix and mastering is just the fine tuning. You know, it's not. It's, it's basically just the voice, making the voice fit to the song, which was quite well done. So basically, the whole reason why the song is not good is this one person, in my opinion. Like it's not herself, for sure not. Unless she made this herself, which I don't think she did. No, she didn't. I just thought she did, cause actually it looks quite similar in terms of the. Hangul, but it's not. Um, so I don't know who made this song, but it's not great, <laughs> and I'm sad for her because she could have done much better, in my opinion, with a better song. So I hope that she has like another song with this or, or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't say any album, so I believe this is just a single. So I don't think there's another song for this. Um, I hope she will get another chance in the future to make songs. And um, we'll have something different. I, I feel like her voice very much so suits ballads a lot. I just don't think the song is good. I mean, it started off well, but you know, it's a four minute song. And for the most part, it was very repetitive and boring. And that's not good at all. Um, there are songs like that that do it on purpose and, you know, that, that want to kind of be like a background song, you know. But it's not really like that. It's not. Like, this beat is something that catches your attention quite a bit. It's not really something you listen to in the background, you know? At least for me, I would say. So I don't think, uh, like, it's my opinion. Maybe there's, obviously there's other opinions out there and maybe you think otherwise. But I personally am a bit dissatisfied with this one. Um, but yeah, that was Young Ji Won's uh, new song, formerly of Speaker. I don't know, again, how the song's called, because it's in Korean and Hangul. But yeah, um... I guess thanks for watching the alteration video if you even saw this because I mean this original video has 600 views you know I mean it dropped a few hours ago so it will have a few thousand in a few days but it's not much at all so uh, obviously not many people will even notice or know the song so I guess thank you for watching this video if you do then you're either a hardcore speaker fan or probably just a fan of my channel um, if you're a hardcore speaker fan and you like disagree with my opinion please let me know I'm very welcome to discuss stuff and obviously I didn't like dislike her just disliked the song um, and if you're one of my hardcore fans that watched this video even from an artist you probably didn't know before and uh, a song I don't really like then <laughs> I don't know what to say uh, don't quite get why you watch this video I'm still very grateful for it and yeah <laughs> thank you for your support if 
uh, you're watching this build then please let me know in the comments what I should check out next it can be totally unrelated to this of course or you can uh, request speaker stuff anything like that and like this video comment down below again and subscribe if you haven't yet that's about it see you in the next one peace